I just find ob objects really fascinating. I mean, Schwankmeyer, um, Sergei Parajanov, Boonwell, they all used objects in their films, the Quay brothers. So it comes in that whole tradition of fetishizing something, um, or this kind of alchemy where something takes on this, this resonance, this power. And I think dresses are quite easy to move around. You just put some wires on them. It doesn't matter if they're in shot. Um, it's all part of that sensibility. I think, as you probably can tell, I'm, I'm not massively into plot. As someone who writes films and as someone who watches films, I, I'm not really a film like The Usual Suspects. I, I couldn't care less who, who did it. Um, I'm much more into character and atmosphere. But also, I just wanted to make a, a well, I wouldn't say it was cheap, but a, um, a cheap genre film, really. Touch it. Feel it here. I mean, I've never been into storyboarding. Um, it's just something I just I find it very, it just restricts me a lot. So usually on the day, I turn up early and just look at the space, look at the objects around and see how it works and work with, with whoever is shooting the film. Um, with this one, it was slightly different because we had sequences that I'd never done before. Um, usually I just film people in a, in a room, whereas this had dogs and washing machines and so on. So there was a, an element of shot listing and a, a degree of rehearsal and storyboarding, um, which, which, which you just had to do. Like the whole fight scene at the end, that, that was rehearsed in advance. Um, so yeah, I think it varies really. Certainly the films I, I watched as, as a teenager, uh, there was always something else going on. Um, Night of the Living Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they all had this backdrop, this political, social relevance. It wasn't forced down your throat somehow, but... Um, so, and I, I think I used to watch a lot of these films at the Scala Cinema in London, which you could see a Tarkovsky film, but also Russ Mayer. So, because I, because I couldn't get into film school, that was, I, I grew up watching films in that way, that you could still put the same relevance to a Dario Argento film than Fassbinder, for, for instance. Uh, so genre, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I, I don't like this word elevated genre, really, because it implies genre itself is somehow not worthy, and I think genre is worthy. And I think a lot of, some of the most intense lyrical scenes I've seen in cinema come from pure genre films. I think quite often because as long as you've got the money shots in there, you, you've got a lot of freedom in, in between to, to do something quite personal.